Hey what is up everybody so today finally Samsung announced the Galaxy Watch 3 but I have a good news for the existing watch active 2 users finally now you can use the long awaited ECG and blood pressure feature together on the Galaxy Watch active 2 for those who have a 2018 Galaxy Watch I'm sorry you cannot use these apps as the watch doesn't have the hardware to do so also guys make sure you have the Tizen version 4.0.0.8 on your Galaxy Watch Active 2 because I have seen so many people complaining that the ECG app doesn't work on the Tizen version 4.0.0.7 and to get the latest update just see my video on how to change the region to United States and get the latest updates also guys if you are interested in this specific watch face link is down in the description along with a lot of coupon codes so do check it out Ok guys so moving on to the process it is pretty simple just follow these steps carefully. First of all you have to download some files, link for all the files are in the description. The first file is the latest ECG and BPTPK that we have to install on our Galaxy Watch Active 2. The second file is the SDB tool and the last file is modified version of the Samsung Health Monitor in the form of APK that we have to install on our smartphone. So before starting you have to make some changes on your Galaxy Watch Active 2. Make sure the developer mode is turned on. In order to do that you have to just simply go into the settings. Scroll down to about watch. Then hit software. And now click multiple times software version. In this way developer mode will be turned on on your watch. And now after enabling the developer mode you have to enable the debugging mode. It is also present in the about watch section. Okay for the second change we have to go into the connections which is present in settings. Now choose Wi-Fi and now select always on. Make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi to which your PC is connected. After connecting just note down the IP address. Now moving on to the PC just unzip both SDB tools and ECG BP file. In ECG BP folder you will see 23.tpk just copy it now move to the SDB folder unzip the required SDB file and now here you can see a lot of versions are present just select your required PC version I have Windows 64 bit so I'm going to unzip that now go to this folder data and now tools here you have to paste that 23.tpk now open Aniscon in this folder and enter the following command stb connect and enter the same IP address that we have copied from the watch. Now if you see a prompt message on your Galaxy Watch Active 2 just hit the tick icon and now enter the command stb install 23.tpk wait for a few seconds and here you go. Now the both ECG and BP apps are installed on your Galaxy Watch Active 2. Ok guys for the last step you have to just install the modified Samsung Health Manager and follow the steps for ECG after installation has completed. Keep your finger on this back button in this way the circuit is completed. Also you can see that now it is working and it is mirroring my ECG. We have to wait for some time for its completion. So here you go sinus rhythm which means I have a normal heart rhythm. So guys I hope you liked the video this was it and make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then bye bye.